we have one of the best Penn Staters in recent times in the house from the Jacksonville Jaguars, a pro bowler, one of the best young wide receivers in the game, Allen Robinson. Good to see you, Allen. Thank you. How are you? for having me. I'm doing well. How's doing life well. for you? It's going really well. Yeah? You know, you know uh, starting to... Uh, really get in the in the thick of things as far as getting back into the season, you know. So it's excited, it it excited seems time. though that you're getting into the swing of the NFL. It seems like you have you have acclimated very well. Uh, yeah. I, I, you've made it look easy. <laughs> uh, has it been? Uh, it's never easy, you know. For me, I think um, as far as just our coaching staff and with and with us having such a young group, you know, in Jacksonville, I think that kind of helps us a lot. You know, we're just able to by us getting so many reps and me uh, speaking for myself, you know, on my, on my rookie year. You know, I would say I was able to get a ton of reps. You know, a lot of uh, rookies, unless you go in the first round, don't really have that luxury coming into the NFL. But who's been the one that's been kind of able to throw their arm around you and, and have a veteran presence um, for you? Who's been that I one? I would say our, our receiver coach, Coach Sullivan, you know, and our and our assistant coach, uh, Tony. You know, I, I think those guys, because we have such a young room. You know, so that's kind of the only real experience. So not an actual player, room, no. you're saying? Because that's been really, I mean – um, uh, throwing everybody in the deep end of the pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would say I would say it's our receiver coach. He kind of you know brings us, brings all our young guys together. You know we have a real close knit group. So I would say, like for me, um, um, Alan Hearns and Marquise Lee. You know we always kind of lean on each other when anything comes up on the field, off sure. the field, things like that. So what's your relationship with Bortles like? Uh, it's really good. You know, um, by us, you know, again, uh, I think it all all kind of goes back to us being so young. You know, we're always kind of able to go through different things together, hang out. You know, outside of football, you know, and just kind of build that chemistry. I think Gus Bradley's like a child. It seems like, right. <laughs> he's got a he's got a very. He do, I would say I would say you know he kind of makes it feel like a college atmosphere. You know, as far as as far as you know, just kind of letting everybody have, bring their own personality and things like that to the table. You well, know, he comes from the Pete Carroll system, yeah. so that's kind of what the mo is for. Pete I think Carroll. that helps out a lot. You know, because we don't come into the <laughs> building, you know, trying to be something that you're not. You know, you go in the building, uh, be yourself, and make your plays. So what what damage can be done by the Jaguars this year? Do you think? I think we got a scary team. You know, I think this is, I mean, this is for sure the most talented team that I've been on with the Jaguars so far. You know, um, offensively and defensively speaking. You know, so I think this year if we if we go in there and do what we're supposed to do, you know, uh, practice hard and you know uh, play well, I think I think we'll have a pretty good year. Yeah, I mean, and you you just seem to keep adding young players one after another after another. Yeah, and then also adding adding some adding some uh, vets, you know, on the offense as far as like this year with Chris Ivory, mm -hmm. you know, bringing him to the back backfield, you know, uh, bringing um, Malik Jackson. Uh, to the defensive side, yes. you know, so and uh, and also Tayshawn Gibson. So I think just adding some vets as well, you know, has really helped us out. And then in the draft, you got two yeah. studly yeah. individuals coming off of the college gridiron, starting with Jalen Ramsey. What 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 can you tell me about his knee? What's going uh, on? With you know, him I think right he'll now? be all right. You know, I mean, as far as uh, when I left, you know, he's back running things like that. You know, so and I think you know he's a very he's a very internally driven guy. You know, so I think that's uh, he's going to bounce back. You know, uh, better than ever. And there's Miles Jack, who's got quite the chip on his shoulder. Yeah, same right now. same thing with him. You know, so I think I think with us just bringing those guys in there, you know, um, like him having a chip. You know, I know Jalen's for sure going to have a chip now. You know, even I mean, with him going going number three, you know, it's probably a lot of people doubting him. Right. And then you can, when it, it's all said and done, when all the chips are down and things need a moment for somebody to uh, stick their foot down and say, this is not happening today, we are going to win. You do have some Michigan players that are on the team. We do. Right. You've got Denard. You've got Chad, Henny, correct? Yeah. These are guys that you lean on the Michigan presence. Right, Alan? I wouldn't say that, per se. I mean, <laughs> I think we have a lot of leaders, you know, on, on our team. You know, I mean, for sure, D uh, Denard mm -hmm. is definitely a leader, you know, but right. I think, uh, I think you know, it's our it's our whole offense. You know well, where, I mean? where are you from? Where I'm are you from, from Detroit. From the state of? Michigan. Okay. Um, what, what, ha what, what happened with uh, you and the Wolverines? That just oh, Rich happen? Rod, for sure. You know, Rich Rod didn't really recruit me. You know, and then and then and then once uh, I, forget, I forget the coach, I forget the coaches after him. But once he came in, you know, it was a little too late. Well, Brady Hoke. Brady Hoke. Once he got there, it was a little too late. Well, it was too late. But Rich Rod did not. No. He put you on the pay no mind list. Yeah. What's up with that? I have no idea, man. Same thing with Michigan State too. They came around a little late. They came around a little late. Yeah. And so Penn State came knocking on your door. They did. Who did? Who's one? Uh, it was actually Coach Ron Vanderlinden. Um, the linebacker coach at the time, you know, and also uh, I kind of had a little edge with them because my high school quarterback went to Penn State. Who's that? Um, uh, Rob Bolden. Okay. Yeah. I was about to say, was that Hackenberg? No, I don't no, think no, so. No, it wasn't Hack. It wasn't Hack. Okay, let's get to the Hackenberg situation here. Who who is Christian Hackenberg? Help me out with this one. He's a hell of a player, man. I think he has a. I think he possesses a lot of talent, you know. And um, I mean, I think Penn State has a has a a niche, you know, for for guys being successful in the league. You do. I think so. Look at Tamba. Mm-hmm. Uh, Navarro, Sean Lee, 
You, Jared, Jared you, do, you doing right over there, by the way? He, he's, Law? he's not wrong. Plus, Lesney on his team, Wisniewski Plus, last year, you know, yeah, now with the Eagles. With, even 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 our walk-on quarterback, McGloin. I mean, he's, up there in Oakland. Yeah, going into his what, fourth and fifth year? Yeah. Fifth, year, fifth year, I believe. No, but you, you, you've heard what people have said about Hackenberg. I have, I have. That, that when you were there, <laughs> you had a connection with him. You, yeah, were, um, you were you were at an excellent year, and so did he. But the last couple of years, not I think it was so a combination much. of both. You know, I think he really missed Bill O'Brien. You know, uh, about him leaving. You know, I think I think uh, I think Bill helped him out a lot. Can we just get a quick refresher of one of those connections? Because there was one against a certain team. I think we have the the sound. And oh, you know what? Clip of it. No, Rich. I don't know <laughs> what you're talking let's about. Let's roll this. Let's roll this, this is, tape. This just is not right. This is one infamous not right. no. catch that Allen may have made. Oh my gosh! Against a certain team. Hackenberg. He's going to go for it right here. And Robinson comes down with it. At the one yard line. Well, it was a clear push off right there. I mean, there's no question. I mean, the way I see it, I understand you're talented and you're very, very talented and humble and, uh, and, and young and, and talented. I think I said that, but. I did see there was a little <laughs> nah, bit of uh, nah. just a little bit of a push off. It's funny because right I actually got that uh, picture when I catch t- uh, tattooed on me. So what do you mean? You have it on yeah. on your person? Yeah. yeah. Where is it on your left rib? Is yeah. that what it is? All uh, right. Okay, here we go. Right rib. Oh, there it is. Wow. Oh my gosh. And you got the Michigan player's name <laughs> tatted on there yeah, as well. That is amazing. I had to keep it authentic. I had to keep it authentic. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> Wow. There was a little back and forth on Twitter was, over that. It was wasn't slightly, there? slightly, slightly. Okay. Slightly. What do you mean a lot of back and forth on Twitter? I didn't want to go too, 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 too much, you know, into it, so I kept it slight. But the, what? the player whose name he caught the ball yeah. over and he got wasn't tatted. Too fond wasn't, of that. He wasn't, wasn't too, too fond of that <laughs> fact that it's now inked on your body for the rest. But it's your body. I mean. Exactly. That's what I said. And you made the catch. Exactly. That's what I said. Yeah. I mean, if it was. But I didn't see. But I did not see on the tattoo the push off. I didn't see the push off out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the refs didn't see it either, so if, hey, if the refs yes! don't see it, it didn't happen. Nice. Yeah. Was there an issue with with uh, with Franklin and, and Hackenberg? Was there something going on uh, that we not, don't know about? Not to my common knowledge, you know, but, I mean, it's just hard to say. I think it was just a system, you know, that really didn't fit, you know, Christian. And I think NFL, college, everything is about, you know, being in a good system for you. Right. And so now that he's 51st overall, a choice, mm-hmm. you know, there have been some – uh, who have been critical of that p- pick by the New York Jets. And Chris Law has been compiling that on on the list. What Where where would you stand on the list of I wouldn't people? be on the list. You know, I'm a firm believer. I think, he, <laughs> I think he's going to have some success, you know, especially him going into a good situation, having Brandon Marshall and, and uh, Decker. You know, I think those two guys make it make it uh, not easy, but easier on any quarterback. So who do you model yourself after? I would right say, now. you know, growing up, uh, I took a lot or tried to take a lot from Brandon Marshall, you know, being being uh, similar in from size. From Marshall himself. Yeah, yeah being, being uh, similar in size and things like that. Huh. Fantastic. You know, and, and now you've got yourself uh, another season fresh off of a Pro Bowl. What 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 uh, goals do you have for 2016? Uh, for me, just become more efficient. You know, I think. What does that do mean? That, what, do you mean um, more, what do you mean more? Just efficient? my uh, target to catch ratio. You know, I think if I do that, you know, um, everything else will pan out. You know, just being. You know, being being better on third down, being better in the red zone, you know, and things like that. And I think everything else is paying out for me. So, but, you know, you're in a division with Luck. You did a division with J.J. Watt, some of the best, biggest, brightest stars in the game. You got Mariota, who's a young, studly quarterback in Tennessee. I mean, how much damage can Jacksonville do in 2016 when it's all said and done? I think we can do a lot. I think we can do a lot. Can you guarantee something for me right here? It's gonna be tough, you know, but I think I, think I mean we're gonna, not putting it in ink when I'm not tattooing it on on my right rib here. It's you gonna know, be tough, you know, but for sure if we, with, with the plan that we have for ourselves, I think uh, I think this is the year that we make the playoffs. Nice, I like it. Making the playoffs. I think that's the next step for us. I mean, I know I know that's a big step, you know, but I mean, um, knowing the talents that we have, you know, and just if we, you know, continue to do, and 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 believe in the plan and trust in the process, you know, I think. For us, that's the next step. See, well, but I don't know how you guys make the playoffs when Hackenberg takes the Jets to the playoffs. I mean, <laughs> that might be that might be the spot that he takes. You know what I mean? No. Nah. Your guy Hackenberg might be taking that you just said. Hey, man. I mean, because hey, you're not on the list. They can have be... a good year. They can have a good year, but you know, if it come down to us making the playoffs and Hackenberg making the playoffs, you know, I think, hey, if that's what the list comes down to, then <laughs> that's what the list comes down to. I gotta be on the list then. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You're on the list, 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 list. He did it. 
I did it. That's he not, did it. I got him on the list. That doesn't qualify. What? I, that will be now a drop. I understand you don't really mean to be on the list, but I just got you on the list anyway. Fantastic. We did it. My work here is done. Thanks for coming on, Alan. Oh, no Robinson. problem. Thanks for having Congratulations me. Congratulations on all Thank you. of the success it. that you have had. Um, and good luck to you throughout the season. Thank you. I look I forward it. to seeing you more high pointing and more, uh, more touchdowns for you. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. That's Alan Robinson here on The Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.